Hey guys, welcome back to Screen Reaper coming at you for another video of Fresh Shadows. Hopefully you're doing well and hopefully you're looking after yourselves and having a great weekend. Sunday is upon us and uh oh, hopefully everything's going well. Some things going down within raids, uh we've still got the Titan point event going on with like the champion chase, etc. Uh before we get into today's video, I want to kind of hear from you guys for my own personal experience. Do you guys like these Titan events? So these uh yeah, I suppose these Titan events and do you like these champion chase uh, events where people are going insane for the Void Legendary, who is very good in Void Legendary. Um he's not a Taurus, he's not a Narcissus, but he's definitely up there as a very tricky character to face. I personally am not going after him, I'm not gonna spend a stupid amount of money in a gamble. Um which you know we probably do that in shards anyway, and uh, it's just not something that I normally tend to go for myself. I see the events are cool and it's good for business. I, I do like Titan events if I'm honest because it's a good way to get the five star uh, blessing, even if they if they are a bit expensive and uh, toxic for a little bit for resources, but it does save you uh, a lot of uh, resources like these. Uh, and the split souls etc which we don't get enough of already and it's quite expensive inside raid so i do like it in that aspect when i look at it from that point of view for someone that does enjoy hydra and pvc content anyway let's get into today's video today's video i want to look at logi i haven't been looking at logi at the moment but i have designed a new uh team with well i haven't designed it so i'm not going to take credit for it but I have basically built myself um, a new team, which is going to be involving Logi, the Deceiver, Five Star Blessing. Kind of got to take a full advantage of that. Uh, big shout out to Bronco, who you guys will be already aware. This was where I got speed tuned from. Um, uh, I don't think he was the design of this team, but uh, this team is very accessible to this. So this is going to be my own version. And also a big shout out to Fabian in my community as well. Fabian will probably be watching this later and drop a comment down below. But Fabian did tell me that this was possible before Bronco released the video. Um, that this was possible with this. Now he was working on it and then Bronco beat him to it and beat basically uh, post the video. But, you know, um, he was working on this situation. Um, so yeah, good. Uh, a big shout out to him as well. Don't think he was the designer of the team, um, but he was. He did make me aware that it could basically work, and I knew he was working on it anyway. Anyway, let's get into today's video. Um, I will drop timestamps down below. This is the team I'm going to use now. You guys will know. Or originally, I hate the Wixwell teams because they are very good for damage, uh, but they do take a long time to run. They're not full auto teams. Uh, I have no problem with running manual teams, but when they take hours and hours, which Wixwell can take that sometimes if you get bad RNG, um, I'm not a big fan of that, right? So a lot of people come to me for Wixwell takeovers. And I'm like, listen, one, it's quite gear intensive. Two, um, you know, you need to de have a decent account and all the champions available, uh, but you also need to have the time to spare and even for me full-time content creator it's very hard to dedicate the time because i have other things going on obviously real life uh takeovers i stream six days a week there's a lot going on in my schedules which are very tight so me running this team can be a bit toxic and uh, can take cost a lot of time and that's why i don't generally uh, rent recommend this unless someone wants to be super uh, competitive in Hydra Clash, and this is a option that hasn't been nerfed so far. However, I think there was something in the last patch about a cap on a shield or something. Uh, one of my uh, members of the community mentioned um, in one of my streams, I think it was, that it was basically released. There isn't no nerf to this yet, but potentially there is a nerf incoming. Uh, but I have no other news on that, and obviously that is here to say right now. I didn't see anything in the patch notes myself but let me know down in the comments if you did so this is the team we're going to run we have emmerich we have nina white we have logie we have wixwell we have dimitha and we have ganica all these uh champions were 
free to play in some sort of way um obviously two void epics as well which for long-term players most of us will have if you don't have a um if you don't have emmerich then you can go ahead and use a pain keeper and uh shy as well which is from ogre factions was also a fusion champion as well if you did get him gg uh he can basically work the t the team is a bit more rng uh and this is probably like the best version myself i build his teams obviously because i'm an sp a very comp experienced player and i want to be competitive in hydro slash i don't have a double yuma cone if i did i probably wouldn't run this team in all fairness but this team isn't so bad when it comes to rng the complicated bit is the setup which has to be basically done on manual so you will need to pay attention to this a uh, bit it's very very important uh you need to get this right so you're going to press logis a2 onto emmerich and you're going to spread the block boss which is basically going to be a immunity set which is definitely different then you're going to play the intercept ability uh on the team because obviously you want to stop him getting a uh, true fit when he will hit you he's going to counter attack anyway so the intercept will block that uh, and then you obviously you want to extend the uh, extend the uh, debuffs on everyone like in shields etc. And then you're going to reset Loki at the start uh, so you can use his A2 and basically uh, put veils out on the whole team. Then you're just going to use Emmerich's uh, abilities like normal. Yanako, you're just going to press A1. Uh, you only used A2 and A3 later on throughout the run when you want to explode the shields and then he is going to do his thing like so Wigswell there will counter attack that's where you need to put incept ability or this is going to get very heavy in rng then you're going to use logis e2 to put the avails on now this is really key moment you could extend the counter attack to all your champions if you do you want to basically reset and go again it's very rare to happen but it basically can happen then you're going to use a2 to grow the shields and obviously extend all your debuffs because that's how the team works uh, and then we're going to use a3 once now this is for a couple of reasons obviously if there's a wrath out this will help you with your shield sets um and taking damage obviously you want continuous heal out as well you do want the heads to take the continuous heals so, so they can heal especially mischief which will get bit into later on in the run um, but it's also as well to kind of note that mischief steals from the most debuff so that's why wixwell and emmerich have uh the most resist because um he's going to target them too because they're going to have 10 debuffs each now 10 debuffs is the most debuffs that you can put on a champion obviously the rest of the champions are low resistance you want them to have eight nine uh buffs uh not 10 because if they do get 10 then Mischief will take the shields way too soon. Uh, and that's basically the key factor to this and why Mischief. But that's why you want to be not taking Lightning Cage as well, because uh, Lightning Cage does count the buff. And let's say you take Lightning Cage on Logu, that could attract uh, Mischief to hit Logu a lot sooner than you want to. Uh, and the reason you don't want to use Lightning Cage on uh, uh, Emmerich is because he will lose the inset ability when it runs out. You do want to make sure that the inset ability stays on as much as possible. With Neo White, you're going to do the A1 here, and then you're just going to do a reset like so. Now, we do need to be careful of uh, Torment's A1, which will basically has a 50% chance of putting fear, and that normally goes to uh, Emmerich. I think it's because it's a lead. And then you'll see here throughout the run, we will carry on using. Uh, Logis A1 and A2 as the setup and trying to basically put these heels down below. I will drop Veronco's video down below so you can go ahead to check that out already. Most of you guys probably have though, in all fairness. So you're going to use A2 here to extend your debuffs, but also will cleanse off the truth fear of Nina White, so you don't need to worry about that. And you can see here we do get the fear. So the reason why we got fear is I didn't put up the. Um, inset ability too soon at all um so i should have been faster putting that up that was a mistake made but we are lucky enough for nina was a1 to cleanse 
off that ability and carry on like so. So um Wix Logi is basically gonna carry on putting the veils on the whole of the champions. This should go to Nina White first and then Demirfa, then Yannicka. After that you can pretty much uh, press auto until um the shields keep growing. Uh, and the only time you'll need to take the auto off is when the uh, Wixwell's uh, sorry Emmerich's uh, incept runs out, and you'll have to keep reapplying it. Or the true fear will proc, so the fear will proc, and then you'll lose the taunt ability, and then it'll take Yannicka. It is worth as well if you can put the Devourer on the different champion like uh, Demifa, for example, behind the head. She doesn't have it. Uh, if you can pull it on her that I would recommend to do that. It's also a mistake in my team, which I do need to uh, address. Um, and basically, she just needs to have higher critical damage like that. So if I make a mistake throughout the run or we get 3 percented on Emmerich, they'll basically take her and then I still have the potential of carrying on within the run. If they take Yannicka straight away, obviously the run ends because we've got no way of doing the damage. So that's one thing as well that I would recommend to kind of copy. Obviously, Demifra is in reflex as well, so it'd be easier to build her out in higher critical damage than everyone else because they're either in shield, immunity, or they're in uh, merciless and reflex gear. So you'll see here, we'll carry on like so um, until Logi gets all his abilities, which will be like so. I get a lot of people as well asking me, how, how do you know when a shield is big enough? I will basically tell you the trick to that in a second. Uh, anyway, so do it. Obviously, she goes next, and then Yannicka will become their next champion. Obviously, we're just going to do A1 on Wixwell if we don't need that A3 at all. Uh, we only want to keep it for Emmerich at all. Uh, this did take me a while to run. I just got seriously unlucky with uh, Mischief. He kept taking my buffs on Emmerich. And wicks well and had me running for about three hours on this run so this is not a perfect run by far and i didn't do it correctly towards the end but honestly i was just frustrated and got lazy with it and i decided to follow my rules and my rules is once it's just one billion if it goes wrong i keep it you know in the day it is what it is if i get more fair enough i do want more as possible but i'm also not going to rerun it after i've got one billion uh, and sit there for another two three hours I do value my time a bit more than that, like so. You can see here is basically backwards and forwards, same abilities. Um, obviously, if you make a mistake, you're kind of screwed. And then there is a way, of the presets as well, to do this on full auto, which I'll get into in a second. Um, so you'll see here, we're going to put the veils on Yannicka from Wixwell. After that, you are pretty much okay to press auto and to go along the way so it takes four minutes to do that you press auto let shields grow for around about i normally leave it to about 23 minutes into my runs and then i know that the shields are big enough to kind of run right so uh i do run an auto all the way up to this now you'll see me here take off the auto soon so i know that the shields are big enough now around about 150 turns I normally know that my shields are big enough. I basically use that as a guide to know if my shields are big enough. Like so. Um, sometimes I keep it running, depending. Uh, some bits and bobs overall. Uh, I think I do grow a bit longer. Uh, so you see here, I take it off. Um, you still got the insect ability on. I think maybe because I put the insect ability back on. Uh, but you can see here, I'm basically starting to put out the same amount of debuffs with uh, on everyone to make Mischief start stealing my debuffs. So, for example, I did use the Myth as A3, which will give me the strength on, on everyone, which is the weak version, and I'll have protection uh, to try and help Mischief bait someone. And, but you have to be very careful with that because at uh, end of the day, if you do it, before Emmerich has intercept on, you'll replace the intercept stack and then you'll start extending. You won't be able to put the intercept back on. I made that mistake, don't make the same mistake. It can ruin your run if that fear is put on. Obviously, if the fear does get on, you have a 50 50% chance and then potentially have a chance to cleanse it anyway through 
Nima and Demir for his abilities. So we're going to wait for uh, Mischief to see. You'll see here I'm counting the debuffs to make sure everyone's got 10 abilities. Uh, I got really unlucky. He didn't want to attack anyone other than Emmerich and Wixwell. And you'll be ready like so. You'll see here we got resisted there. Where did you take my abilities? It's quite late on actually. So you'll see here we actually took Logie's uh, abilities. And video or so, but basically, this team can do 10 billion plus, uh, depending on your time. And I'm really hoping a few people in SP do update the teams like this because obviously, more damage for us and Hydra Clash would make us more competitive. So, you'll see here who will extend all the shields, like so. Uh, he only extended the one shield for some reason, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but basically, now you want to use your Logi to steal the debuffs back off Mischief. So you can keep extending this run and make this as a basically infinity comp, right? You can see there, I would be honest, I was completely lazy and just so frustrated. I just went straight for the big ban. I didn't try and wait for it. I just wanted the run over as quick as possible, if I'm honest. Um, but you can understand running Hydra for so long, you, you know, you're going to get frustrated and a damn human being. Um, but you will see here, I do actually steal the shields back from one of the heads which i can't remember which one i did oh i took it from him i should have took actually off um should have took off mischief so he can heal and then uh basically keep on but again i was frustrated and uh, i didn't really care at this point so you see here we've got 900 and something million uh he takes my debuffs again from yanaka uh or Demifa. i think he did it twice in a row i think because he was on cooldown or something uh and you'll see here i'll spread it in a second like so and you'll see here we got 1.5 billion damage and then i was unlucky because i killed mischief down to my frustrations and i didn't basically get mischief so because i didn't get mischief it was end of the run obviously if we forgot mischief it would have carried on and I would have still been able to extend all these. Obviously, if they take other shields, Logi can just keep stealing the shields back, and then he will keep uh, stealing it, and you just basically uh, be able to do billions and billions. I wish for sure run it again next week. Probably will get a bit of a better run overall, but you can see there that it's just very, very frustrating over a time of a uh, long period. To be honest, this team is so much better for RNG. I could have been more patient for sure, and I was extremely, extremely unlucky in my run. So that is me giving you the honest truth on this. I'm not going to try and sell this team uh, any anything like so. I am happy I don't have to use for Duchess no more, and I'm happy we've got some use for Logi. So these are the presets then that are really, really important. You can see here, uh, these are the abilities like so to make this run throughout the whole of auto and to basically make it your best friend obviously it's much easier as well like if you don't have uh torment out on the sauna rotations this team will actually be way more easier to run because you're not gonna have to worry about that true fear which is actually extremely powerful so let's show you all the champions and gear and masteries then Enric hasn't changed this team is way lower in speeds uh quite gear requirements etc so really really simple now we do have immunity set here i know a lot of us don't probably have immunity sets no more but you can use untouchable which can be farmed on two out of three rotations uh if if i'm not mistaken which is the scarab uh and also you can use four piece failed set as well that does give you immunity as well and obviously you can farm it farm finite so there's three sets potentially you can use as the immortal set overall so the stats are not crazy you need uh 500 resistance i've got way over kill of the resistance because of the masteries on the last team and i didn't reset it so the speed is at 259 now the old one was at two uh 291 uh obviously we needed good hp so the hp is dropped the defense is dropped like so um Honestly, I didn't oil the gear. The gear was just oiled and it's sitting around because you see this as a maze in a chest as a broken piece. Uh, and obviously, I have a blessing as well. 
these are the masteries we're running now if you can get the stats they needed you don't actually need masteries so that's one thing to kind of take into consideration and you want to avoid uh, cycle of magic because you don't want to get the um get the uh taunt back too early right if you get the taunt back too early it's gonna be uh absolute pain in the bomb logi here as you can see no mastery is required uh don't really care we've got the five star blessing i use brimstone honestly you could probably use cruelty or something like that i don't really matter you could even leave the lesson off if you wanted to so you don't have to waste a reset these are the uh stuff that you need uh as you can tell so speed is 270 really really healthy good defense good hp these are the only the three stats that matter he doesn't need anything else i suppose probably does need accuracy for the steel i'm not too sure about that if i'm honest uh you can see here we're just coming in with a shield set like so again no masteries uh does need books though so that's one thing to take into consideration this would need to be booked to be honest you can probably get away with this not being booked uh but it'll probably be nice to get the cooldowns and obviously the a1 probably doesn't need to be booked it's mainly a3 that you'll need for the veils you probably can get away with using a2 as well and potentially i'm not too sure you'd have to check that out maybe you can test it overall anyway wickswell again uh we swell is going to be super important uh these on the masteries i'm running again you can go wall master if you want um we have got actually a master set and reflex now if you can't get both it's going to be very difficult to run this and become very rng but it can still be done uh because i've done it in the other teams before but it does get way more rng and can be a bit stressful with like if you're using a3 way more because of the true fear because it can be that could be rng it can basically drag out your runs and make you lose the shields quite early uh and then there's also um the shields from uh, the damage you'll take from uh wrath on other rotations as well so that's one thing to take into consideration you don't need as critical damage like this uh you just need good speed defense and hp and resistance now the defense is the key bit to grow the shields obviously as well so you can see here that we just use an also uh sets here if you don't have mercer's gear you can use refresh as well to give you chances to proc that so if you can get two free pieces of that that would be fairly good as well so you will need books like so uh yannicka then so yannicka here um these are the masheries like so and then obviously bits and bobs now i do have a mistake in here which i will rectify in uh the next time i use this team but these are the stats across the board don't ask me why i've got 131 critical rate just just happened with the build right like it was on the last build and i changed one piece of gear and i was like okay cool you know uh speed tune was done i don't have to move gear around for this team so it makes my life way easier now you can see here shield set pretty fine you can maybe use hex if you wanted to uh critical damage is not so important on this you can use 200 critical damage is perfectly fine uh, again tack is perfectly fine as well hp would be kind of nice if you can get a bit more uh mine's plus four so you know uh, i'm pretty lucky there now you do need accuracy right uh accuracy is going to be the key to remove this i wasn't actually aware that you needed accuracy for this um so it's very rng but i would say you know probably a good idea to build out uh 350 accuracy and make that a bit more healthy uh i do have the hydra stuff here as well so that's why we don't always remove the shields that will just make your run more smoother uh and i would probably recommend to do that nina white is in a hex set you can put her in a shield set as well if you want i would probably try and get hex somewhere in your team so you anical or so would be perfect here you need good speed hp uh defense and that's about it and accuracy as well a one can be usable um uh, but honestly if you don't have decreased speed i wouldn't worry too much about it 
these are the old masteries, so these are not great masteries. And honestly, uh, it should be like War Master or Eagle Eye, or we can just use no masteries whatsoever, um, or even extra like uh, HP or defense for the shields if you're kind of struggling to keep your shields. I would only take these masteries if you're struggling to keep your shields, right? Uh, you can see here, this is a fairly uh, accessible a team compared to the other one. Uh, I think that's it, everyone on the team. Uh, did I miss anyone? Let me have a look. I don't want to miss anyone. I feel like I've missed one champion. We've done one, two, three, four, five. Ah, Demirfa. Demirfa was the one. Now, I tried to use a Chris. It is. So I couldn't get Chris to work. Just generally because I couldn't get all the debuffs out for some reason. I think we have just changed like his AI. So I just used Demirfa who is in my vault somewhere. It's kind of hard to find her because of the spelling. There we are. I always get it wrong around to be dyslexic. It's kind of funny. Uh, so we have got reflex set here as well. Uh, there's actually no point of using... Um, Merciless, because Merciless won't work with her A2. Again, just focus on HP, defense, and speed for survivability. Survivability is key for this team, uh, especially only really at the start, really. But, you know, it's one on one, no masteries as well. And then I actually took this, um, this Blessing, because I have High Level Blessing, which just generally just helps out with the HP Aura. Again, for extra HP for the shields. Uh, so that's one thing you can also take as well to improve your team, which I did on like one of the formal videos. So easy way of doing it. This will be my new nightmare team now until probably someone else props up. There will be another fusion probably in the next couple of months, which will enhance this team if there is no uh, buff uh, or nerf to this team. So one of them ones overall. Do I like cheese teams? No, but it's just basically use what you got and you can't basically be pretty on it that's about it from this uh i will basically drop the replay of the video at the end of this so you guys can go check that out if you want um if not then i'll see you guys on the next video and a big thank you to everyone who does this and hopefully we can find uh the big brains behind this uh um team so we can basically thank him because bronco is right it's a good way to counter these people who have massive trunda keys which you know uh again uh it's not it's not anyone's fault it's basically plarium's doing for not testing and plarium are the only ones that we can hold uh, accountable to this situation that we have in hydro clash that's it for today i appreciate you guys watching to the the whole video hopefully you enjoy this let me know your thoughts down in the comments and again i will be dropping a video at some point today on uh Co city content so go ahead check that out if you are struggling uh, and then let me know down in the comments what Curse City videos you guys want to see in the next day or so as well please remember to like comment and subscribe i've been grim i'll see you on the next one peace